Uh, okay. I just did a previous video on um, my experience of cancelling and feeling out the feelings behind the illnesses took me approximately three to five years. And then I had this lovely question, well, God can perform miracles. You know, what about these people who go to Lords and they've got a serious illness and they're fine the next day? Uh, uh, or bone fractures. In fact, that was with Mother Teresa. I believe Mother Teresa got her sainthood from the church when there was a guy, a, a woman, I think, uh, with cancer and it, it disappeared on the x-ray after she was in Mother Teresa's presence. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I think there's two factors. One is karmic. Uh, karmic. What's my pre-existing karma or my baggage with an illness? And the other one is level of consciousness. So I, I think, and I can answer them all in one go. So what about the person you know, Mother Teresa was calibrated by Hawkins at high, high enlightenment. You know, that's a very powerful light. In the light of someone at 700, with that much light and presence, uh, uh, the infinite shining into someone next to them, uh, all their limiting beliefs, like I've got cancer, uh, I haven't got enough love in my life, uh, just to have exposure to that level of grace uh, right next to you. Um, I would say, you know, uh, someone at a, a thousand or someone like at Christ's level, you're probably going to get like astronomical miracles because the light shining into the crowd is going to be like, um, but that's a that's a thousand watt, let, let's call that a thousand watt light where the miraculous will happen, you know, at intensity on a regular basis because they're shining the light of God at say the max 1000 watts. Mother Teresa, let's pretend she was at 700 watts, which is still like very, very incredible. You know, people, are, are, their cancers are disappearing left, right and center. Now, why did it take three to five years of me canceling and doing it? Well, my level of consciousness when I started my spiritual work, let's say I was in an active addiction, totally full of self-hatred, repressed feelings, uh, having a level of consciousness where I was attracting physical illnesses and negativity and bad relationships everywhere. So for me to do the work without having like Jesus Christ and Mother Teresa sitting next next to me while I'm doing the work, uh, which would be different, you know, I mean, it takes, so I start off as a hundred watt bulb and I'm cancelling the stuff. Maybe at the end of it, I have to get to a certain wattage to clear these beliefs. So it takes three to five years to increase my connection to the divine. So I, I could start experiencing some mod modest miracles, being off a dialysis machine, walking sticks, asthma inhalers, being discharged from hospital departments. So I'm, I didn't start off like at the presence of Christ or Mother Teresa. So it takes a lot of work. Um, the thing with um, also my karma, you know, uh, has to be divine permission from God and, and what past life karma that might block it. So you're doing a lot of cancelling and stuff, might not even clear, you know, or you might not have enough time to cure it in this lifetime, whatever the, the, the karmic problem is. Um, Lords, I think, is a very one. We've got the Ganges and Lords, uh, Hawkins talks about them. Uh, if you calibrate them, what's the vibration of these groups? What, what happens when you get millions of people over hundreds of years going to a place in worship. You know, that energy of praying in this spot, millions of people have been in this exact spot, pr praying to and have prayed coming to this spot, praying for a miracle and relief of their suffering. The, these places become sanctified. They become imbued with God's love and presence at a certain calibration. So Lord's is one, the Ganges is another one. Uh, you know, Ganges, probably for thousands of years, people have come and worship there. Lords for, for uh, probably uh, maybe hundreds of years, I'm not sure. So um, with that level of devotion, and it's become sanctified. And, and therefore, the miracles do happen for me in accordance to the, uh, the followers' devotion and consciousness and their places' consciousness and vibration. Spectacular miracles do happen. Of course, if God wanted anything to happen in an instant in this world it would of course because god is that inf an infinite light bulb more than even any human being could be uh so the divine will is even more powerful so anyway so uh okay i'll shut up on that one i'm pressing stop